there's a reason we measure our years as before and after Christ because when he came he changed everything hi friends happy Good Friday it's kind of interesting that we call it Good Friday when what we're remembering is Jesus death on the cross but just like God does in a lot of ways he took the worst day in history the worst act that was ever done by human beings and he turned it into our greatest blessing there's a story in Acts where the Apostles were arrested and then they were miraculously released from prison and the, the authorities couldn't find them and in Acts 5:27 they find out that they're back in the temple preaching again and so they go and get them and it says the apostles were brought in and made to appear before the Sanhedrin to be questioned by the high priest we gave you strict orders not to teach in this name he said yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and are determined to make us guilty of this man's blood you can understand why these officials might have been a little bit reluctant to allow the preaching of Jesus Christ when they had just killed him and and they were guilty of his blood but think about Peter Peter who was so afraid that he denied Jesus before the crucifixion he stands up to the Sanhedrin and he says we must obey God rather than human beings the God of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead whom you killed by hanging him on a cross God exalted him to his own right hand as Prince and Savior that he might bring Israel to repentance and forgive their sins we are witnesses of these things and so is the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those who obey him we're witnesses you killed Jesus we saw him alive again and so did God's Holy Spirit and and we have that spirit in us today Verse 33 says, When they heard this, they were furious and wanted to put him to death. But a Pharisee named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, who was honored by all the people, stood up in the Sanhedrin and ordered that the men be put outside for a little while. Then he addressed the Sanhedrin, Men, is, men of Israel, consider carefully what you intend to do to these men. Some time ago, Thutis appeared, claiming to be somebody and about 400 men rallied to him. He was killed. All, his, all of his followers were dispersed and it all came to nothing. After him, Judas the Galilean appeared in the days of the census and led a band of people in revolt. He too was killed and all his followers were scattered. Therefore, in the present case, I advise you, leave these men alone, let them go. For if their purpose or activity is of human origin, it will fail. But if it is from God, you will not be able to stop these men. You will only find yourselves fighting against God. This speech persuaded them. They called the apostles in and had them flogged. Then they ordered them not to speak in the name of Jesus and let them go. <laughs> if something doesn't work, do it more. They had beat them before and they still went out and preached again because they weren't afraid of anything anymore. When your leader gets crucified in a horrible way and three days later he's alive again, then you just start thinking, maybe this world has nothing to fear. All I'm going to have to do is make sure I please God. Verse 41, it says, The apostles left the Sanhedrin rejoicing because they had been counted worthy of suffering disgrace for the name day after day in the temple courts and from house to house they never stopped teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Messiah you see we still count all of history as everything that's before Christ and everything in the year of our Lord after Christ and the reason is because he changed everything just look at how he changed Peter and the other Apostles who went from frightened rabbits hiding out to people who could stand up to the courts of their land and say we're not going to obey you we're going to obey God may we all have that same change 
in our lives as Christ makes us transformed into his image. Happy Good Friday. Thank you, Father, for this day. I pray, Father, for the Resurrection Sunday that's coming up. I pray, Father, it will be a time to rededicate ourselves to you and to express our gratitude for all the wonderful things you've done for us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. Good night.